Hi everyone, welcome back to my class. Students, in this session, now you will understand what is sexual reproduction and why sexual reproduction is needed. What is the importance? What is the significance? So you all know that there is two modes of reproduction. One is asexual mode of reproduction and another one is the sexual mode of reproduction. So you all have understood about asexual mode of reproduction in the previous sessions. So e sessionally sexual reproduction and a revised martha why sexual reproduction is necessary or needed and on the topic in the corona so first what is sexual reproduction how can we define it see it is a mode of reproduction sexual reproduction is a mode of reproduction where two parents are involved when i talk about asexual there is single parent only with the help of one single parent new organism is formed how the but when i talk about sexual mode there is involvement of two parents two parents are involved in the sexual mode of reproduction so here what happens between two parents e two parents yaru one is the male one is the male and another one is the female gandu mattu hennu correct so the male and female they fuse what do they do? They fuse. Another word for fuse, we call it as mate. We can also call it as mate. They fuse or they mate. What exactly fuse? Ye, ya, ya bandhu, think fuse agate. See, the sex cells will fuse under sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction only yen fuse agate, sex cells getting fused. So here sex is involved. Sex between the male and the female is involved. As a result of the sex, that is the fusion, what happened? Fusion of male and female gamete takes place. What do you mean by gametes? Gametes and reno. See, the gametes are nothing but the specialized sex cells. Where these the specialized sex cells are present? See, they are present in the reproductive organ. Male reproductive organ only male sex cell. Female reproductive organ only female sex cell. These sex cells which are present in the male as well as the female, they fuse. As a result of fusion, what happened? The fusion of gametes takes place. As a result of fusion of gametes, what happened? The new organism is born or the new organism is formed. This is what ha happens exactly under sexual mode of reproduction. What happened? The fusion of gametes takes place between the male and the female. As a result of this, the new organism which is formed we call it as offspring in the karthibi we can call it as or we are calling it as offspring so these offspring which are being formed under sexual mode of reproduction they are not identical to their parents andre the organisms yen form aagutade they are not completely same as father and mother instead they have some characteristics we can call it as traits traits anta karithave so they have some traits of father as well as the traits of the mother. But they are not completely same as father, not completely same of mother. Father rithi ni atwa mother rithi ni iru badlu. Salpa characteristics father and mother in the padakondi ratte. And there is also some variation. This is very important. See the newly born organism will have some variation. It shows some kind of variation. Variation may be the change in the color of the eyeball, change in the color of the hairs, change in the color of the skin. These are all some variations. Father and mother, Ibru kuda salpa dark brown idre. Putu and the baby salpa fair agir bahudu. So that is a new change. And father and mother, the eyeball similar agidre. Putu and the baby nalli on the hosa variation ir bahudu. So this is also one of the new trait. So such kind of trait we call it as variation. So this kind of variation is only seen when the sexual reproduction takes place. Yavaga sexual reproduction agate, so on the sandar agate, we can see the variation in the new newly born organism. Clear? So now let us understand why sexual reproduction is needed. So sexual reproduction and the yen on the Why it is needed? Why sexual reproduction is needed? Already namge asexual reproduction ide. Asexual reproduction and the yen unta koda gottu. And it is a primitive mode of reproduction because first sexual reproduction get the model bandi the asexual reproduction. Correct. So already we have asexual reproduction and asexual reproduction look kuda organisms born aakta ide. How the organisms are 
getting reproduced under asexual mode of reproduction then why do we need sexual reproduction why can't all the living organisms on the earth reproduce asexually asexually reproduce madodik agodilva ella organisms ko see the purpose of reproduction you know what is the purpose of reproduction purpose of reproduction enu ond hosa organisms ke birth kododu so ad already asexual reproduction al aagta irodrinda why do we need sexual mode of reproduction that is the question so let's understand this concept that why do we need the sexual mode of reproduction when we have a sexual mode okay the first point which you all have to understand here is to incorporate the variations in species which in turn ensures the survival of species very important point and very meaningful point so here the thing which you have to understand is variation is only seen variation is only seen in sexual mode of reproduction but under asexual mode of reproduction variation cannot be seen variation andre yenu hosa traits hosa traits annodu organism sexually reproduce madadaga matra kanutte but asexually reproduce madadaga alli form aguvanta ond organisms they are completely identical to their parents they are completely same as their parents correct so variations can be only seen under sexual mode of reproduction but cannot be seen under asexual mode okay neevu ee reethinu yochane maadabodu see already reproduction aagta ide variation illa andre yen agutte variation yak beku the main intention of reproduction is to give birth to new organism it's happening under sexual as well as asexual right why are we giving more importance to variation variation ge naavu yake importance kodta idivi it is because see because of the variation because of the variation in species it ensures the survival of species we could observe the changes in each generation of the newly born organism very important over a period of time we can observe the variation this variation may also leads to the new kind of organism let's take an example of a cat and tiger see if you look at the cat and if you look at the tiger there are some similarities can you find out some similarities yes if you look at their faces both the face of the cat and the tiger there are some similarities why can't we think that this tiger was once upon a cat because we say that the tiger is also belong it belongs to the cat family right because they look similar they look similar but they are not completely same there are some similarities between the cat and the tiger so this happens because of the sexual mode of reproduction it happens because of the sexual mode of reproduction because as the generation passes what happen we can see there lot of variation in the newly born organisms that might be one of the change that took place in the tiger we can think like that right ನೀವು ಹೀಗೂ ತಿಂಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಈ ಕ್ಯಾಟೇ ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ನೌ ಇವಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಟೈಗರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಡಿಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೆಕ್ಷುಲ್ ಮೋಡ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಟು ಇನ್ಕಾರ್ಪೊರೇಟ್ ದ ವೇರಿಯೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸಿ ದ ವೇರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೀಷಸ್ ಟು ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ವೇರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೀಷಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟು ಎನ್ಶೋರ್ ದ ಸರ್ವೈವಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೇಷಸ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷುಲ್ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ನೀಡೆಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಸೆಕ್ಷುಯಲ್ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಬೇಕು ಸಿ ಈಚ್ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಸ್ಪೀಷಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ಯುನೀಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಸೆಕ್ಷುಯಲ್ ಮೋಡ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ನೋ ದಟ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಲಿ ಬೋರ್ನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಆಸ್ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ ವೆರ್ ಆಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷುಯಲ್ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಆಸ್ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಈವನ್ ದೋ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ದೇ ಆಲ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ ಟು ಸೇಮ್ ಸ್ಪೀಷಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ under sexual reproduction the newly born organism have some variation even though they have some variation they all belong to same species i can even give you an example of uh, the human beings see when i talk about human beings we all have the same body design two hands two legs when five to six people they are in a group we call everyone has human beings because their body structure remains same our body design same ide but when we look at all those five members each one is different from one another obru innobru ginta different a kaantare but their basic body design remains same that is what i am telling there is variation between them 
but even though they all belong to the same species that is human beings they are all human beings correct so because there is variation they have the uniqueness we can identify they have the uniqueness and they also have the identity they look different correct then they look different they have the uniqueness they also have the identity and this uniqueness and identity is all because of the sexual reproduction because of the sexual reproduction they got the uniqueness and they got the identity and how does this happen ellaadra hinde what is the major role that is a thing you have to understand all these things happen because of the dna very important thing which you have to understand dna deoxyribonucleic acid correct dna it plays a major role dna copying mechanism it plays a very important role yavaga copying mechanism shuru agutte when the male and the female when the male and the female sex cells when they fuse what happen their dna is also fuse their dna is also fuse what happen as a result of this dna mechanism starts the dna mechanism start what happen as a mechanism of the dna which took place as a result of the fusion of male and female gamete the newly born child or what we call it as offspring will have some variation they have some variation so sometimes if the dna has accurate copying exactly if it copy what happen the newly born organism it may look identical to the parent but it is very rare cases in the case of twins they look somewhat identical but when the dna is inaccurate when it is in copying mechanism is inaccurate what happen the newly born organism will have the errors in their dna as a result of that what happen the variation is seen see most importantly you have to understand variation is very important tumane important the variation irodrinda ne enaagutade we can see a, a new type of species which have been evolved from previous generation to now this generation so in the next session i'll come up with another topic that's all for this session i'm signing off thank you